Hello folks, Tamara here with Miner's Leisure World. Today I'm going to walk you through this beauty that just landed on the lot. It is a 2022 Solitude S-Class 3950BH. So big, beautiful, wide-bodied unit. So this is a fifth wheel, obviously. Um, let's just start right up here at the front. This particular unit is generator prep. So we're going to walk you through that if you guys do decide to put a generator in there. Uh, if you don't do that right now, it's ready to go in the near future. Coming down here, fiberglass unit, obviously. Grand Design does a wonderful job. Uh, they do a little bit extra with their warranty. So they add some on their decals, on their chassis, and on their tires. So just ask us a little bit more about that. But uh, they also do a really heavy insulation package. So these are classified from the manufacturer as a four season unit. Up here in Saskatchewan, you and I are gonna have a conversation about camping on Christmas day. But other than that, we're gonna get you in for a full, full three season of camping. So let's dive right down here into the underbelly. Really nice wide space here. I'm gonna close this door really quick here. Slam latches doubled and a really nice thick profile door here. You've got forced heat into the underbelly. So when I say a heated underbelly, I truly mean that. Rolling down here onto the front of the unit, you got a really nice big awning at the top there. You can see you have that yellow lighted bar at the top, as well as a strip of LED lights in the awning. You've got your famous solid steps. This is a four stepper, so the unit sits a little bit higher, uh, but you got a nice big grab handle to help you get in there as well. Rolling down here onto the campsite slide, this unit does have opposing slides, so you are gonna get a nice wide space inside. This awning also has LED lights built in. These awnings are both gonna come out about eight feet, pretty standard for awnings, but you're gonna get lots of nice coverage on your full campsite. Outdoor speakers are located down here, so this is gonna keep that music in your campsite. Sometimes when we put them up high, it carries a little bit further and then your neighbors aren't as thrilled, but this keeps you right in your entertainment area. And then speaking of entertainment area, we have a really beautiful outdoor kitchen. So I'm loving the colors that they did in this outdoor kitchen. Um, more of an off-white, kind of light gray. You've got your grill top here. You've got your see-through glass door in your fridge, which isn't always the best thing because your neighbors can see what you're hiding in there. But you do have a sink and an extra counter space on there as well. Okay, on the rear of the 3950, we have more solid steps and a door. Where does it go, do you ask? There is a second full bath back here. So you get a shower, toilet, sink, and cabinet space in here. So it's right off the bunk room really handy for the kids and nice to come in and out on the rear. You also have the ladder that's mounted so you can get up on that roof, fully walkable roof, and it is backup camera prepped. And onto the driver's side of the trailer, you have this wonderful convenience center. They do a great job, big double door entrance here. Your hoses are gonna come up down through here. You've got your poles, really easy to winterize and everything is super accessible. You also have a light down here so you can see what's going on, but I'm just gonna point out this one does also have a four point auto level system on it. Couple pushes of a button, you're set up ready to go. Okay, okay coming into the 2022 Solitude S-Class 3950BH, right off the bat, you've got your control panel hidden here. There's also lots of nice storage up here, which I'll show you on the other side, but you've got all of your control panel buttons accessible. But over here, they also give you this nice touchscreen LCD panel, so if you're techie and really like the whole touchscreen idea, you can utilize that. If you really prefer just using your control panel, you can do that. They also do a little QR code here. So it's by Lippert. All you got to do is scan it on your phone, uh, download the app, and you'll be able to control a lot of these accessories right from the handle of your phone. So obviously coming into this big, beautiful kitchen, nice drop zone here. So you've got lots of room for a coffee bar, crock pot, something like that. Really nice deep cabinets down here. And then I'll show you those cabinets up there that I was telling you about. So it is accessible from the other side as well. And then you've got a charging station here too, if you need. So you can put all of your um, technology up there. Right down here into the pantry, nice wide shelves. These are also lipped shelves. So uh, when you're traveling, maybe don't stack the cans three or four high like you would if you were sitting on a seasonal, but you've got lots of room in there for lots of goodies. Swinging around over here. So we opted in the two-way propane and electric fridge here. So this is a really nice 12 cubic fridge. You've got fridge and freezer. This is um, separate here. So they do this for efficiency, you guys. So if you're looking to have all your burgers and whatnot over here and all your freezies and kids stuff over there, uh, you're not losing all that cool air when you open it up. Right here in the island, really nice thick profiled solid surface countertop. These guys do really nice large sink, but they kind of split it in half. So you don't waste as much water if you're just washing a couple dishes. 
a residential faucet here with the spray option. And then down here, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, room for a garbage can, shelving on this other side here, and then you've got a couple nice big drawers here as well. A couple differences in the Solitude S-Class compared to just a regular Solitude. One of them is the range size. So we can get into that a little bit more when you guys are looking, but right now you have this size range, typical camper sized oven. You're still gonna be able to cook a few things in there if you'd like though. And then you have some storage down here as well. So they kind of gave it a seamless look, making it look like it's a nice big range. You do have the microwave, a little bit more storage up there as well and then your entertainment system right here beside. So you do have an electric fireplace in here, so a couple pushes of a button. It's gonna give you some heat to take the chill off. Really nice large TV. You've got storage above, and then your radio system is going to be over here. So I showed you the outdoor speakers. There is indoor speakers in here as well. You're gonna have Bluetooth capabilities. You're also gonna have a little charging station for a USB as well. So in this particular unit, we optioned in the king size sofa. So this is over on campsite, this all these nice big windows are going to be looking into your campsite. Um, there are two tables that do attach to this. So I'm going to show you how the tables are down here. They pop into those metal brackets down there and they just sit right in front. So if you don't utilize the tables a whole lot, say you guys are a family that has a gazebo or eat outside often, you just have a nice big couch for some lounging. If you do end up on a rainy day or want to play a couple games, you do have that seating option there too. Into the big, beautiful bunk room. So tons of sleeping space in here. We have three single size bunks. There's one on that side you guys probably can't see right now, but we'll show it to you. You got tons of storage in here as well. So this is kind of cool. Pulls out so the kids can hang their clothes up, pushes that back in. Each kid will get their own drawer if you've got four of them sleeping in here. Nice tall ladder to get you up to that top bunk. And then when we swing over here, you're gonna have that single bunk I was telling you about here. A window up there as well. This couch will also try fold out, so it will essentially be a double bed. So if you needed to throw an extra kit on there, you got lots of room to do so. And then this is that full bath at the rear of the trailer I was telling you guys about. So lots of storage, they got drawers and storage underneath the sink. Lots of counter space too, which is really nice to see. Medicine cabinet above the sink. That rear entrance door, once again, a porcelain foot flush toilet with a really nice size step-in shower. The main bathroom, you guys, they did still do the solid surface countertop in here with a stainless steel undermounted sink, which is a bonus. Uh, you've got storage in here. I'm not going to open the other one because you guys can't see it anyways, but uh, storage underneath. You've got medicine cabinet storage above as well, which I think I can get you a view of. You've got the nice tri-slide series glass doors on the shower. Uh, the black finish is really, really accent in here. And then you've got storage for towels on each side of that porcelain foot flush toilet and you've got hooks on the far side of the wall. Into the master bedroom. We opted in a king size bed on this. If you want to drop down to a queen, gives you a little bit more walking space, but, but really it fits the space quite nicely in here. So you've got your headboard, windows on each side. You do have some lights up here that you can uh, have on for reading and whatnot. And then right behind me, <laughs> I'm going to swing around and show you guys. Uh, you do have kind of his and her closets is, or her and her, whatever you want to do. Uh, you've got drawers underneath. Both sides are going to have the same amount of storage space as the washer dryer prep. Now, you don't have to utilize that washer dryer. If you want to just leave the shelves in, use it as a closet, by all means you can. Otherwise, these just pop out. They also did a dresser in here, so you really don't need to pack a suitcase, carry your clothes out from your own closet on the hangers, pop them in the closet. So you've got six drawers in here, really nice size drawers. That one was nice and tight. A window over here, so you're going to get a nice cross breeze if you need it. And these guys come equipped with a TV. You also get a second AC in the bedroom, so you can really dual zone this unit. Alrighty, folks, my name is Tamara. Thank you for joining me on this tour of the 2022 Solitude S-Class 3950BH. If you have any questions about this or anything else we happen to carry, check us out at MyNamesLeisureWorld.com.